What's up guys, we've just got back from a quick keto shop in Aldi here in the UK. So I'm going to show you what you can get for under £35 because that's what we spent including the bags and everything. So let's check it out and see what's keto and what's not. Okay, so that's the haul in total. And we'll go through it now. So side to any dish we've got British Crunchy Kale and we've got British Baby Spinach. I'm not sure it matters that it's British but we've got them there and we've got a big head of broccoli there to go with that. 20% British beef mince and as you can see it's great value and it's 20% fat and it's the cheapest one in there because it's the higher fat but for keto we love that. And we've got a lean pork fillet, you can see that in there at £2.49, nice big fillet. That'll probably do one, possibly two meals if we slice it up. We've got our Italian salami cheese selection. What we're going to do with this is we're going to be a bit more inventive with our next keto lasagna. So stay tuned to the channel and you'll see that coming soon. We've got a medium pack of chicken breast fillets. They're very lean, so even if you're not keto, well worth £3.9. 650 grams of that. A staple of all ketoers. This is the chicken thighs. These are the skinless ones only because they didn't have the skin on ones in there. We've got pork bellies. Great re recipe for pork bellies. There's snacks on the channel. Go and check that one out. We've got a bag of grated mozzarella. That's for our lasagna dish that's coming soon. We've also got a block of the British mild coloured cheddar. This is to cube up like we showed you in a previous video and that's going to be used as snacks. Got our gammon steak and obviously all them red, big red markers but the only one we care about is the sugars and that's green. That's awesome. Now, little treat here, Greek style yogurts. Now I know you should avoid a yogurt on keto but inside the Greek ones, if we turn it round and look at the back, we've got 9.5 grams of carbs. So on a 30 gram carb allowance on a good day, that's a nice treat at the end of the day. We have a great one, which you might use a branded name like Coke or Pepsi, but Aldi do this Coke, extreme taste, zero sugar, exactly the same as Coke Zero to me. Kind of got a mixture between the flavours of Pepsi and Coke, but it's suitable and it fills you up. And it's dirt cheap. Paste. Now this was a surprising one for me as well. We've got beef. And we've got chicken. And they didn't have any beef left, so we end up with three of the chicken ones. So the chicken paste, surprisingly, is 2.5 grams, 2.7 grams of carbohydrates per 100 grams. And there's only 75 grams in there. So I literally eat this as a snack when I'm hungry with a little spoon, just like baby food, as it were. Or a meaty yogurt. They are absolutely brilliant. Best find I've had using them paste pots. Free range eggs and large makes all the difference. Uh, not just for the chickens, but for the actual flavour. The free range ones just are better in general. Then we've got our coconut oil. We've been using our blended spray, so I've been saying I need to get some coconut oil. So I've got some of that so we can start cooking with that. Great on the keto diet. The floor wing sauce you've seen on the channel for the wings. Next to nothing in that. Hot dogs, just for a quick, super easy, no carb meal, just if you're on the go, wonderful. I found this one, pesto mayonnaise. And if you look at the channel soon, you should see upcoming some tuna wrap videos. Found this, mayo's usually not great on keto, but I found this and it is, it's very small writing on this one. Where's my carbs? 7.5 grams of carbs per 100 milliliter, and it's a 250 milliliter pot. So when you're doing a single squirt or two lines on something, you're talking next to nothing. Absolutely great for that. Uh, just got some herbs to add to my empty spice rack because you're starting to get a bit sparse. And the treat for the week is Bud Light. And I know it's not the greatest beer. It's not wonderful. It's not going to get me drunk or anything like that. But it's just a nice, light, low-carb alternative beer. Little stubby cans. That'll do me. So that's pretty much it. And that's me eating really well on keto with snacks for a full week and pop and treats. And it's cost me next to nothing. Who said eating healthy has to cost you a lot of money? So that's it. Just a quick shop there. 
we've only got like less than a week left on this challenge now. We're going to have a weigh in tonight just between me and Justin and see the progress we're making. See if we can adjust our diet a bit more. And we'll be back checking in with you in a week's time when we end the keto challenge and we see the difference. Thanks for watching again. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.